What's up, Print Fam? Welcome back to the Print Shop. Today, we've had to set up to print some Awala water bottles. So I'll link the ones that we use down in the description, but I'm gonna show you how we did it because it was a big pain in the butt because we're trying to print in a specific location. And normally when you print water bottles in this thing or tumblers, you use a rotary jig and it just doesn't work. So the way that we did this, and Jacob is working, so we're just gonna let him keep working so I don't interrupt him. We took the laser plate and I went over to my brother's shop and found this door that they had busted and I cut it off so that we could register it with the screw holes. And we took the laser plate and taped it to it and then taped the jig in place so that we could print in the same spot. So we're printing on the opposite side of the Owala logo and it just it's disappearing. Um, anyway. We print on the opposite side of the wall logo on the curved surface, but we're doing just, it's like a four inch wide by like a one inch design and it works really well. This is not really the intended use case. So if we're gonna do a lot of these, we're gonna figure out a better way to jig them so that we could potentially do multiple at a time and or hold it better rather than being this jerry-rigged setup. But it does work. It is a profitable job and hopefully it doesn't take too long. Jacob said this particular print takes about two minutes and we've got about 20 tumblers to do. So hopefully we can get it scaled so we can get it done as fast as lasers. But I think again, it comes down to how you jig it and how you set it up. But this is an idea. Again, this is just a board that we found at my brother's shop. You could just take two boards to make a 90 and rig something up that way to make it work for you. So hope that helps. Hope it's another way that you can make some money, but maybe let's go talk about the numbers. Number wise, we ended up having to buy the Owalas at retail pricing. We got them from Amazon. I will link that down below. So we paid $25 for the water bottle. This order was a part of a larger order where we were doing a store and kidding a bunch of things. So this particular item, we only sold about 25 of them, I believe. It might've been 20, but we sold them to the customer at $27. So $12 of profit for that part. And then we have the cost of running them, cost of the employee and the ink. As far as hard costs, the ink itself is one penny, according to the LogoJet software. And then we've got about two minutes worth of time of Jacobs plus the time we spent to create the jig to do it, which we'll technically be able to use that same setup again. So hopefully it'll be a lot easier, but overall it's probably going to take about an hour worth of work, maybe two from Jacob to print and then literally pennies for the ink and then just the cost of the water bottle. So overall pretty decent worth it especially if you can build it in so that you're starting to do that as kind of a production thing where you do just lots of these all the time every day totally worth the money that you're making you could probably get more out of it especially doing a full color print on it as far as what you sell them for especially if you're doing them as one off but again for this job for us it was a part of a much bigger bulk order that included a lot of different products so we did like speakers, shoes, sweatshirts, t-shirts, charging things, blankets. So it was a big massive order, about 150 different employees got to pick five to 10 different items depending on what budget they wanted to spend. So it was a massive order for us. So this was just a small piece of it. I just thought you'd enjoy how we did it and how we're using the low budget to make money. 